Hey guys, Dean Chase here with another geometry lesson for you. Hope everybody's doing great. Let's go ahead and get this thing started with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, give us Lord, thank you for all you've done. I pray you'll bless my students to help us all have a great day. We love you in Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Alright guys, so today we're going to be learning how to find the angle measures in polygons. This is lesson 8.1, page 507. In a polygon, two vertices that are endpoints of the same sides are called consecutive vertices. A diagonal, a diagonal of a polygon is a segment that joins two non-consecutive vertices. Polygon ABCDE has two diagonals from vertex B, BD and BE. As you can see, the diagonals from one vertex form triangles. In the activity on page 506, you use these triangles to find the sum of the interior angle measures of a polygon. Your results support the following theorem and corollary. So you may not have done that, but what you're going to learn today teaches you that. So here we go. Um, theorem 8.1, polygon interior angles theorem. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex n gon, where n is the number of sides, is n minus 2 times 180. So to find out how many degrees total form the interior angles of this, it's the number of sides minus 2 times 180. Okay, and then there's a corollary to theorem 8.1 and it's the interior angles of a quadrilateral, which says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Okay, let's keep going. So once a polygon has more than 12 sides, you can name it n gon, where n is the number of sides the polygon has. So for example, if a polygon has 500 sides, you would just call it a 500 gon. But right here in my slide is a list of all the common shapes where you have at least three sides to make a polygon, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, um, heptagon has seven sides, octagon, eight sides, Nonagon, nine sides, decagon, ten sides, undecagon, eleven sides, and dodecagon, twelve sides. All right, let's keep going. So, find the sum of the measure of the interior angles of the of a convex decagon. So here, I put this decagon on here, and they want to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles. What we need to remember, our equation to find that is n minus 2 times 180. Okay, so that's all we have to do. So n is the number of sides, so all we have to do is count up the sides right here in our decagon. Um, or you could know how many sides, but for now we're going to go ahead and count just in case we didn't know it was a decagon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we have 10 sides minus 2 times 180 okay 10 minus 2 is going to leave us 8 times 180 and our total angle measure for the inside is going to be 1440 degrees okay um, real quick I just want to show you something else um, that you would have learned in the activity um, they were talking about connecting two non-consecutive sides so I'm going to go ahead and pick this point right here okay the only two side vertices that are consecutive to this point is this one and this one. You cannot draw a line to them and form a triangle. So if we draw diagonals from this point to all the other vertices, you'll see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles formed. So check out, we know a triangle has 180 degrees total in it, and that's where we get eight times 180, because from this shape, we can draw eight triangles in it using diagonals. So that kind of helps explain why we're doing what we're doing. Let's go ahead and keep going. Example two, the sum of the measures of the interior angles 
of a convex polygon is 2340 degrees. Classify the polygon by the number of sides. So we're kind of going to do this opposite. Last time we knew we had 10 sides. Now we want to know how many sides we have, but we know the total degree measure. So we know that n minus 2 times 180 is going to equal this number 2340, 2340. Okay. And then it's just simple algebra to solve this out. So we're going to divide each side by. 180. Okay, the 180 is cancel out. N minus 2 now equals um, 13. Okay, add 2 to each side. N equals 15. And we're done. Okay, not that bad. Pretty simple. Um, but we're not done actually because. That's how many sides there are, but they want to classify the polygon by the number of sides. Well, this is over 12, so we're just gonna call this a 15 gone. Okay, um, I hope that made sense. Let's go ahead and keep rolling. We got a few examples to do today. Example three, find the value of X in the diagram shown. So, this is just another step in solving, okay? Um, we know all the interior angle measures except for one, but we're capable of finding out what the total number is by using the equation n minus 2 times 180. And once we do that, we can solve for x. So, how many sides does this have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we have 5 sides. So, 5 minus 2 times 180. Okay, um, three times 180, um, then it's gonna be 540. So we know that the total measure inside this thing is 540 degrees, okay? And we know that all the sides plus X have to equal that. So let's go ahead and write that down. Um, I'm gonna draw this off. We're gonna do 110 plus 100 plus 92 plus 84 plus x equal 540. Okay, um, all these numbers added together equal 386. So 386 plus x equals 540. Subtract 386 from each side. And we're gonna be left with x equals 154 degrees. Okay, um, that's pretty quick. Hope that made sense, let's keep going. So, we've been learning about the interior angles of polygons, now we're gonna learn about the exterior, exterior angles, which is so much easier. Exterior angles, unlike the sum of the interior angle measures of a convex polygon, the sum of the exterior angle measures does not depend on the number of sides of the polygon. The diagram below suggests that the sum of the measure of the exterior angles, one at each vertex of a pentagon is 360 degrees. In general, the sum is 360 for any convex polygon. Okay, so theorem 8.2, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a convex polygon, one angle at each vertex is 360 degrees. So you know that all the angles add together, no matter what shape it is, is going to be 360 degrees, no matter what polygon it is. Let's keep going. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do example four. So example four, what is the value of X in the diagram shown? So here we have this shape, and we know that all the exterior angles have to add up to equal 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and write that up. X plus X plus 20 plus... 112 plus 96 equals 360. Combine our like terms, we have 2x plus 228 equals 360. Subtract 228 from each side. Um, that's gonna cancel itself out. And 2x is gonna equal uh, 132. Divide each side by two, 
and our x value is going to be 66 degree oh 66 sorry not degrees um, it's 66 degrees here but this would be 86 degrees here but they're only asking us for our x value so example 4 is done let's keep going example 5 a stop sign is shaped like a regular octagon find the measure of each interior angle and B find the measure of each exterior angle so to find the measure of each interior angle the first thing we got to do is find the total interior angle measures which we're going to do simply by it's an octagon so it has eight sides minus two times 180 okay so we have six times 180 which equals one zero eight zero one thousand eighty so that's our total measure of the inside of this but they want to know what each one is well there's eight vertexes so we just know we're going to split that up by eight so if we divide this by eight that's going to give us our number which is going to be 135 degrees okay now b is so much easier i'm going to square that off that's our answer um the measure of each exterior angle is really simple because we know all the exterior angles always add up to equal 360 degrees. So to solve for one of them, we just divide it by eight because there's eight vertexes. So once again, 360 divided by eight, and that's gonna give us 45 degrees, okay? And that's all there is to this lesson. Pretty basic, um, hope you guys are doing great. Let's keep rolling. Feel free to like and subscribe, and you know what, have a good day. See ya! Bye.